So um, this is this is the setup we came up for, with uh, for setting up a, a two anchor, so a main and a belay system using this I beam uh, and for an elevator shaft. Um, here's the I beam. Normally we're going to take uh, two anchor straps, uh, wrap them in the appropriate method uh, around your I beam. Um, one establishing the main and one one for the belay. We're going to come back here. The rest of the equipment we're using is. Uh, one of the buddy ropes from the squad you'll see has uh, approximately 50 feet of rope. It's got a, a long and a short crossex on there, two deltas. The other equipment that you're gonna use are two carabiners, two more deltas, and uh, six more crossex, all right? Um, so to do this, normally what we would do is we're gonna disconnect the green crossex from the one delta and slide it to the other end. Um, normally when we use uh, prosthex for anchoring, um, the preferred method is to use a tandem prosthex setup um, just for redundancy um, versus just using a single prosthex. So we'll attach both prosthex to the delta on the other end. Here I'm using a small delta, um, preferably we would use a delta of uh, a little bit larger size. The reason we're doing this is this is eventually going to get a main or a belay line attached to it. I've set a butterfly knot here attached to the delta. We're going to give a little bit of a tattletale for adjustment. Um, this is going to be eventually on the floor that uh, we're setting up our systems. And from down there I can make a quick adjustment up or down with my Prusix um, rather than having a radio back up to the, uh, the floor above. You'll come back to your anchor point. Um, if somebody wants to help, we'll set up uh, two more prussix on here. And then we're going to come back to our anchor strap. I'm going to connect the delta here and then connect our main, uh, our prussic cord. All right, um, the reason we're doing the prussic is it gives us the ability from the floor above to adjust this, the length of our, we'll call this our main line. All right, um, for safety purposes, we'll leave a little bit of what uh, we'll refer to as a tattletale, which is just basically a termination knot. I'll use a butterfly knot uh, just because it's a little easier to tie. Um, and I'll give myself some distance, say a foot or a couple feet, so that I can make some adjustments. And then I'll connect it using uh, the carabiner. The knot goes in the carabiner, the carabiner then goes not to the delta, but to the buckles on your anchor strap. And the reason we do this is if the prosthetics were to slip, the knot will uh, eventually take the load. Um, if I've made an error when in my initial setup and I need to uh, make an adjustment, I can do it much easier by disconnecting the carabiner, untying my knot, and then re-tying it wherever I need it, and then I can adjust my line accordingly. Um, it's usually a faster method than having the knot uh, hooked into the delta itself. From here, I'll uh, work with the other end of the rope, and I'll basically do the same thing. Uh, if we start down at the feet, or, uh, at the other end here, we'll attach two prussix down on uh, here in the same fashion. And then we're just basically using both ends of the rope. Uh, the reason this works pretty good is normally we've got 10 to 15 feet between floors. Um, this is 50 feet of rope. It should give us enough adjustment. And we're only using one piece of rope um, for both anchor points. It saves us some, some equipment. 
and what we're using is both ends of the rope. So you'll see that the two lines that get lowered, they, either one could be the main or the belay, they look the same and when we come back up to our anchor point, uh, the same thing. Cross six into the delta. I'll adjust my line. Tie a butterfly knot. Hook up my carabiner and then connect it always to the buckles on the anchor strap. So your system then uh, gives you some adjustment from both the anchor point side and uh, the floor below. And then you'll have some other extra rope hopefully to make uh, adjustments if you need them.